Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. And today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for your overall energies. We're going to check to see what is coming your way. Also, I'm going to leave a link up here and in the description box below. If you would like a private reading from me, you can just go ahead and book your reading from there. This reading is intended for a sun, moon, and rising of Virgo. If you have any of those in your chart, it might resonate with you. By the way, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon and become a member of this beautiful soul community. Subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. Okay, guys? Let's jump into your reading. Let's see what is coming your way. I see a fresh new start here. You can see the tears of joy and it is coming soon though. It is it doesn't really have much time left here, I see. Hmm. There is somebody in your heart space. There's a path opening. I don't know if this is towards this person, but it seems like this is going to be something um It has somebody here. Um this can be a trip that you're going to be taking with someone i see number five here number five and there's a sword right under it number five symbolizes playfulness and exploration also travel so this is like a double confirmation this is going to be something that is going to have an improvement in your life sword is actually touching to this person right here it kind of looks like a dog here dog usually symbolizes someone loyal to you this person can be a sword, maybe a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius energy. And you're going to be taking this trip um, not right away. It has maybe six weeks or maybe six is the number timeline. Oopsie. Here. <laughs> six is the number timeline. It can be like six weeks, six months, and uh, six days can be something that you're planning very soon to happen. I also see that initially before that happens, you are stepping into an environment of like-minded people. I see there's like a um, woman here. She has angel wings. Kind of her like um attitude, the way she's standing. Her face is right here. Your head, her hand is right there. And she has another baby angel here. Like looks like this one right there. So uh, this can be someone, somebody's adoring and this adornment is actually going to take a while. It's not going to be happening right away. Um, this can be your energy, your angelic side, maybe an angel actually watching your back that is, uh, you know, behind you, covering you. And this can be like your baby. The energy of the, ba of the baby is yours, maybe. And um, this woman is actually making things happening in a very slight way way like with minimum action this is this time usually um the things happen when you take massive action but it seems like here like she's so aligned with the higher power a higher energy with minimal action she creates miracles okay i see a letter x here it can be k also can be in her first name or the last name and like this can also be a marked place um, she can be marked or maybe she's marking a place that she's planning to go. And I also see here there's a monkey. That monkey can indicate that this can be like a conversation that she's planning to do, have with you. And there's a roof I also see here. Uh, like I said, this can be also a protective angel. It doesn't have to be um, a person. Uh, like a you know a protective angel actually opening the paths for you the communication lines if you're changing houses maybe you're finding like um this two house on um, side by side can be like in a good neighborhood you're actually finding something for yourself and i see there's a person this looks like a young boy holding up a wand can be a page of wands a uh, young dynamic energy with like this entrepreneur and adventurous mindset can be an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius and this person actually um 
is coming up with this wand energy as well this can be someone helping you out along the way while you're finding this house okay they are coming here with curiosity and an open mind so they don't have any judgment when they're looking for places this kind of can cause him to have less less experience in the situation okay so if you're planning to go with their uh, opinion it's time to reconsider that because this person might not know what they're talking about they might not have enough life experience to know oh, what is a good place this roof can also indicate a working environment that you're stepping in so this person might not know what kind of a place is good to work in or what kind of like a place that you are actually compatible okay so this can be like a recruiter that you're working with or uh, if you're looking for a home can be a real estate broker can be even a good friend coming up and showing up with you but they not they might not have enough experience to give you an opinion but their enthusiasm is actually going to be changing the game here they're going to be give the energy that they're putting inside of this uh, search is actually going to help the things become come to you faster i see here there's also another woman she has this like glass this magnifying glass and she has this beautiful fashionable weird hat on top of her and the hat has an eye inside of it and i see that she's wearing a strapless dress um there was this um i think they're italian brand called scaparelli that's what they say but it's schiaparelli i think that's what it is how you pronounce it um so that they were actually designing this eye um jewelry type of stuff this massive like not very anatomical but massive this golden eyes um, that kind of reminded me of that, like that energy, and this it reminded me because a strapless dress is actually something that brands do, did a lot in the past, but it doesn't have to be like that kind of like a luxurious thing. But creativity is the point here. So this woman coming forward probably has a, an expensive taste, also very creative, can be a guide. Uh, for you maybe uh, if you're actually researching certain things maybe fashion if you're interested in fashion if you're looking for fashion things and this can also be a guide it doesn't have to be a guide in the fashion it can be a creative thing okay maybe if you're sketching and um, this person can be someone who is actually there was this woman her name was her last name was apple she passed recently she was this very fashionable older lady and like that kind of like of inspiration it doesn't have nothing to do maybe you're uh, you're gonna be get inspired for the dressing style which will always like whenever i change my style it always elevates my energy like change it like to a higher level higher in the sense doesn't have to be like expensive um it's about like having an elegant style okay or it doesn't have to be elegant whatever is actually uh, making you feel good so like it can be like a certain color that you want to dress or it can be like um you know it's not too much about fashion but it's about inspiration okay um this person's coming forward with inspiration to you and i also see that there is um a man looks like a fish he has a fish has a man's face this can be a pisces okay uh pisces energy here with i see a shoe as well like there is so many like um clothing references i see here so this can be also changing the uh, your skin maybe just embracing something new okay it doesn't have to be limited to only clothing also the shoe can indicate a new travel opportunity i saw the path opening here it seems like the travel opportunity is actually going to be showing up um you know beforehand you're gonna be able to uh, calculate this you're gonna be able to contemplate it and before even like maybe i see somebody here um they are wearing a hat someone as an authority here and uh, you may be talking about this person talking to this person what kind of a travel that you want to go i see another male figure here who has a hat as well hat indicates this authority of these people so this can be you actually 
um I'm not gonna say getting approval, maybe getting support because he's supporting the shoe right here, okay? I see there is actually another fish, like a koi fish swirling around in your house. Koi fish uh, can be because they are kind of like ornamental uh, animals is actually ex expressive of some like um, abundance coming your way in a sense that you can maybe decorate an environment that you're in or uh, like uh, treat yourself with some things okay some things that you're desiring to have i see a beautiful cup appearing here and there's a person with big hair the hairstyle kind of looks like here um, a dragon type of a face but this can indicate that this person also we have the fire um, maybe Aries Leo Sagittarius again someone with fiery energy and this can also be you becoming like expressing like becoming more expressive of your skill sets okay and um, the cup indicates that like you are coming from love you're doing what you love and when you do that this actually can bring an, an opportunity an unexpected opportunity because I see here a beautiful white paper showing this can be a, an unexpected opportunity showing up for you okay can be a contract being offered while you travel while you're traveling this is actually showing here i see that you're going to be entering into a massive crowd after this opportunity presents itself and uh, there's a letter m as in mary and v as in victor this can also symbolize victories that because i see people are actually having a lot of fun like if you have maybe something that you can put on display and it doesn't have to be an artistic skill it can be um you know display in the sense of maybe whatever that you're doing at work which is um a high value thing um this is going to be appreciated and this is going to be observed by even i see here a king with a v can be also a virgo this king can be a king of pentacles um, they're going to be actually observing what you do. Some people are going to be um, congratulating, maybe telling you, oh, you did a great job. This is going amazing. I see a an, um, kind of like a fish here, a swordfish running. Swordfish can be indicative of uh, like getting recognition as well as financial support when you keep pursuing that. And also, um, this person is going to be initially observing what you do. And then they're going to come up with um, an offer to you, okay? Let's get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Like there's just a chunk of money sitting in your home, just flowing into your heart. Home in the sense of like your desire coming really fast. Chunk of money can also be an opportunity showing up for you. So this can, this is something that you have been talking about in your home maybe or contemplating and maybe trying to make it happen for you. And it's going to be coming very fast, very soon, okay? I see there is a person here with a hat again. This seems like the person that is with the authority observing you. This can be someone like, an, um, um, like a boss, someone... Um, um, a director someone with power and they're right here they know initially that you have a lot of potential and they're going to be giving you the support whatever that you need and number two indicates partnership so this can even be like um if you have this great idea that you want to launch a business which your desire splitting up into two so if, if this can be like actually starting something new and taking action towards it and maybe you need support in that and support will be coming, okay? As in the partnership, uh, in the format of partnership. If this is like a product or a service that you're providing, I see many, many people actually gathering and surrounding you. This is a very good sign. This can indicate that you're going to have a lot of attraction. A lot of like uh, people are going to be actually showing interest in what you're offering, okay? Let's see what we have in your cards at this time. Beautiful Virgos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seven of Cups coming forward here. You might be having some like confusion, maybe moment of confusion. The things that um, having a hard time to make a decision. Maybe even spoiled by options that you have many, many options in the situation. 
that might be causing you to have this confused mind but it seems like she's standing here with confidence so even though you're taking your time eventually you're making a decision okay let's see what this decision is all about we have the eight of pentacles here this decision includes making maybe going back to school learning something new and where i have this wheel of fortune wanted to come forward and says here yes it is your time go ahead and uh, do that and just take that training go to that school or whatever it is that is going to be improving your knowledge about the things that you want to experience because when you have the more knowledge this wheel of fortune actually going to be showing up here for you and um let's see what we have here you can see this woman is standing here. She has she's surrounded by like various types of animals. And she has a I think this is like a dog right under her. This indicates that like the wheel of fortune is actually going to be loyal to you. I have here page of swords can be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. It can be someone actually coming up with a new idea, someone intellectual, smart, and maybe a little blunt, however. They have this young blood, maybe younger person, but they are speaking their truth. Also, uh, this person's idea can actually like elevate your energy. I see here, maybe even give you a good, uh, you know, opportunity to create this moment of wealth. You can see here we have this exchange happening and this woman is actually wealthy one is giving and then she's receiving in return. So the, this indicates that whatever that you put out there, it's going to be coming back to you multiplied and it seems like it's the, in the energy of money. Okay, it's going to be showing up as in um, energy of exchange. So the more the good you do, the more grateful you feel, the more goodness are going to be attracting into your life at this time. We had the Ace of Cups here. Ace of Cups indicates emotionally fulfilling new beginning. It can be love coming forth, but if you're not manifesting love, this can be as something that you're going to be doing lovingly. It is going to make you feel a lot of love, okay? And this can be like a new job that you're going to be starting, a new um, a place that you're going to be moving in, a new environment, um, community that you're going to become a part of, something new that will actually fulfill you emotionally. I have here the Empress also showing. This is also Libra and Taurus energy. Um, this is also the Mother Earth, the energy of creativity and also like um, nurturing, loving something to existence. So it seems like whatever that you put the energy in, in the good, um, you know, with good intentions, that is actually going to be like using your creativity and gentleness. It is going to grow and become something massive, okay? Like the Mother Earth, like the, you plant a seed on the ground and that actually going to be, you know, bringing you uh, tons of um, produce at the end. I have here the Vanity card come forth with your chakra cards. This is the throat chakra actually with the blue color. Most of the people getting this blue color uh, chakras, not the same uh, message, but um, this uh, blue color comes forward. Uh, the inspiration is here. It says aqua people. Hmm. I need more, better, bigger. Yes, that will make me okay. This can be your approach right now. We have here maybe like a, a teacher or someone appearing here, a wizard appearing and... Um, Let's say what he says. The inspiration for this card is, we all say we will stop when we have enough, but there is never enough. You may be looking outside yourself for validation. And there's a personal inquiry for you. Am I feeling disconnected from any people in my life? Am I growing away from limiting relationships? Which is a good thing. You might be actually upgrading to another level in your life when it comes to relationships or also like the, the career path or life quests, whatever that you are actually on. And the uh, key ideas here is like maybe finding out that you're living in illusion, power to change and maybe lesser companion can be uh, if you have like a lot of people surrounding you and you don't feel the intimacy within them maybe you're just starting to choose with this ace of cups that the ones that give make you feel love okay and um, 
and the ones that you love. Okay, letting go of the empty conversations. And the keywords here are faith, awareness, and transformation. Okay, this is going to be happening in your energy. All right now, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.